Hi, and welcome back to the C Sharp beginner tutorial series for the Stride game engine. In this tutorial, we will learn all about cloning entities and how to add those cloned entities to the scene in various ways. As you can see, I've opened up the cloning entities tutorial from the C Sharp beginner template. In my scene, I have a beautiful sword that is placed on Z coordinate 1, which is kind of important. And we also have this empty object that is at coordinate 0, 0, 0. And it has the clone entity demo script attached. And it has a public property called master sword, which is this sword here. And we've referenced that entity into this property because that sword is going to be copied or cloned a couple of times. So let's start doing this. Let's make our first clone. We'll do this in a variable called clone zero. And all we have to say is master sword dot clone. This will give us an exact copy of the master sword entity that we've referenced into the clone entity demo script. And that is not just the entity itself. That means that every single component and all the properties that are filled in are copied as well. So if you have, in this case, a model component, then that is copied too, as well as any other component, like for instance, an ammo component, a collider, a particle system, those would be copied too. Now, if we would run our demo script right now, you might expect to see this clone zero appear in the scene, but that is not really going to happen. First off, the clone zero that we've created, it's placed at the exact same spot as our master sword. And the reason for that is because our script was attached to an object at coordinate 0, 0, 0, and the entity master sword would have a Z coordinate of one, so it would be placed at the exact same location. However, there's another problem. Our clone zero hasn't actually been added to the scene yet because that's the only difference that this clone method doesn't copy. And that is where this clone is actually in the scene. Well, it's nowhere. We have to specify where this sword is. So one way to do this is by getting the scene object and then start adding so one way to retrieve the scene object is by saying entity where our script is attached to followed by the scene property. And then we can use the entities list followed by the add method. And then we can add our clone zero. Since our clone will be at the exact same position as the master sword itself, we have to move it a little bit to the right. And let's also scale it down a little so that we can see where it is. So I'm going to say clone zero dot transform dot scale. And all we have to say now is new vector three. And we all we have to provide one single value so that it will be applied to all axes of this vector three. And let's also not forget to place it a little bit to the right. We can do this by adding a new vector to it. And all we have to do is say, let's move to the right a little bit. And there we go. Okay, now let's see how this would look when we run our game. The game has started. Let's click the cloning entities tutorial. And there we go. We've made a clone of the master sword, which means that our sword would be positioned at coordinate Z index one. And then we moved it to the right a little bit and we also scaled it down slightly. Okay, so this entity is now part of the scene. But where would it actually be? If we go back to Stride Game Studio and we have this cloning entities scene selected, then the clone master sword was added to this scene root, which means it's at the same exact same level as the camera sword cloning demo and master sword entity. Now for the next step, let's make another clone of this master sword and add it as a child of the entity that the script is attached to. So to this sword cloning demo entity. Okay, let's copy the lines that we currently already have. 
place them a couple lines down and replace that clone zero with clone one. And then instead of making it 0 0.8, we're going to make it even tinier, 0 0.6. And instead of placing it to the right, we're going to place it to the left of the original master sword. But then instead of adding it to the scene using the entity.scene, we're going to add it as a child of our current entity. And we can do this by saying entity add child. Don't confuse this with the add method, which is used for components. Add child adds an actual entity. So let's think about what is going to happen when we do this. We have an existing entity, and then we're going to copy that master sword, which has a Z index of one, and then we're going to place it to the left. Our game has started again, select cloning entities, and there we go. We have an even smaller sword and it's placed to the left. It has the original position of the master sword, which has a Z index of one, which means that when we've copied it, it would be placed here, but then it would get that exact same value of one, and then we place it to the left. Let's try this one more time because we can add an object to a, another child in various ways. So I'm going to copy this clone one one more time. I'm going to call this clone two. We're going to scale that down even further. And instead of placing it to the left or right, we're going to move it forwards a little bit, or actually backwards, a little bit closer to the camera. And what we need to do is set the parent for this object. And we can do that through the transform of our clone two. And all we have to do is say, well, the parent of our clone two, well, that is the entity dot transform object. This will achieve the exact same effect as adding the clone to, to the children of an entity. Our game has started once more and let's click the cloning entities tutorial for the last time. And now we can see that we have four swords of which are three clones that these are part of the scene. We have our fourth sword or our third clone added as a child of our entity script, which is at location 000, but it got the exact same coordinate as our master sword with a Z index of one, and then we moved it a little bit backwards back here and we scaled it down even further. We set its parent directly on this entity itself and the parent was this entity object at location 000, which is the entity that we've attached our clone entity demo script to. That's it for this tutorial where we learned about cloning entities and how to add them to the scene in various ways. In the next tutorial, we'll continue learning on this concept, but instead of adding things to the scene, we'll start removing entities from the scene, which can also be done in various ways.